Welcome to the MSI channel where I try to resurrect an old MSI 8080 computer. So there was a question about um, this particular card. This is the 16K RAM card. And the question was, why does it have four regulators on it? They're all just five volt regulators. Why do you need, why do you need so many regulators on such a simple board? And it comes from the fact that you know, CMOS hadn't been invented yet. I think these are NMOS devices, and they just took a lot of current. Uh, you need a lot of current to uh, to run these things. So let's 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 examine what how much current you really needed if you were going to design this card. The RAM chips that are used on this particular card were pretty popular back then. Uh, they're a two one one four, and uh, let's take a look at the data sheet. They're uh, organized as a uh, thousand by four bits, so um, you would need two of these chips for an eight bit byte. Um, so you would have to use these in pairs. So it would take one pair of chips for 1K, so you would need 16 pairs of chips for 16K. So if you go back and you count the number of chips on that board, uh, yeah, there are 16 pairs, 32 chips um, on that board. So um, there was originally a 2114 that consumed a certain amount of power. They eventually come, came up with a low power version, uh, which which consumed a little bit less, but not a whole lot. Not certainly nothing like uh, the CMOS chips of today. Um, it was. Uh, fast enough. Uh, how fast are these? Uh, 300 nanoseconds. Uh, so we could do that calculation, but they were fast enough for what this uh, computer needed. So this is the architecture of the chip. Uh, it's, uh, again, four data lines. And the uh, chip is a matrix of memory locations, uh, rows and columns. There are uh, six rows and four columns, giving you 10 address lines. Uh, there's a chip select, um, and then there is a, a direction bit, basically. Um, are you writing or are you reading? Do the bits go in or do the bits come out? Uh, so pretty, pretty simple device. Uh, let's take a look at the DC characteristics. Uh, on the fourth line there, you can see power supply current uh, can be 100 milliamps uh, in the far right-hand column there. The low power version only drew 70 milliamps, but uh, 100 milliamps per chip. Um, so let's go back to the card. Um, if you have 100 milliamps, uh, you can see that it adds up 100, 100, 100, 100. <laughs> so for uh, if you can imagine that each 4K block is uh, four pairs, which is eight chips, so every voltage regulator is supplying the current for eight chips, and eight chips times 100 milliamps is you know 0.8 amps, uh, 800 milliamps. So it's quite a bit. Uh, the 7805 regulators can it get up to an amp and a half, but that's only if they're on a perfect heat sink and if the ambient temperature is 25 C. So you need to derate these things. So um, I think uh, uh, these heat sinks are pretty small in this board. So um, one amp per regulator is probably conservative. That's good. So um, so you need at least four amps of power to drive all of these 32 chips. Uh, they just got warm. <laughs> 